The Kennedy Luger Youth Exchange and Study Program, also known as the YES Program, founded in 2002 by the U.S. Department of State, is a merit-based scholarship program which brings international high school students to the United States. In 2009, the YES Abroad Program was established to send American high school students abroad to select countries. YES students come from nearly 40 countries where there are significant Muslim populations. I'm coming from Tanzania. Lebanon. I'm Bosnia and Herzegovina. I'm from Israel. I am from Albania. I'm from Kuwait. I'm from Pakistan. I'm from Bangladesh. My home country is Mali. While they are in the U.S., YES students learn about American values, such as ethnic and religious diversity, and community service. They develop their leadership skills and return home to become change makers in their home countries. I feel like the YES program is not only that one year that you go to the U.S., but it actually starts when you come back. The YES program changed me in a great way. I became a totally different person after that year. The Exchange here just adds more to your life, learning about new culture, meeting new people, having a whole new like family, friends that will last forever. You empower the students um, to go home and do projects in their communities that directly engage their peers on some of the most important issues facing young people in those communities. In September 2013, 100 YES alumni were invited to Istanbul, Turkey to celebrate their achievements as changemakers in their home countries as part of the 10th anniversary of the YES program. The invited alumni received training in project design and management, as well as the important opportunity to learn from each other and from expert trainers. These experiences can bri bridge the divides and bring people together if they truly understand that underneath we are the same. I have a lot of activities that are planned, like go and work with kids, underprivileged families. Uh, in Ramadan, our holy month, we do a lot of iftars. And like every month, we have a theme that we cover a certain topic and a certain community service. We started Afghan Voices, which is a documentary training for alumni where uh, students of um, age 16 to 20, we teach them how to make documentaries and then they go back to their communities and to their villages and they tell stories of uh, you know, their communities, through their camera, and through their voice. When I returned, the first thing I did was to volunteer in an elementary school, and it was really successful. Currently, I'm focusing my efforts on a project in Morocco that aims to create a generation of entrepreneurs through training. So we did a few projects together, and we also started a new project at my, at my previous school, Center for the Blind and Visually Impaired Students. We are teaching English to the students who want to you know, participate in, in the program. I see focus. You see, I'm excited about um, the seed that has been planted. The, most of the students are not just the future leaders, they have the key to the future. I see a great future for YES um, because it's definitely making a change. If I had to describe what YES gave me in just a few words, I would say um, flexibility, um, gratitude, Peace, love, multiculturalism, diversity. Confidence, self-respect. The YES program is the best thing that you can go through or benefit from. If it wasn't for the YES program, I wouldn't have been the person I am now. They feel that they're already part of a family by being in YES. So if, if somebody welcomes these kids in their homes, uh, I think they, ha they will have so much to learn from them as much as to give to them. Make a friend or make a son, make a daughter. Because um, I feel those are lasting relationships. Happy 10th anniversary, yes, program. Happy 10th anniversary. Happy 10th anniversary. Happy 10th anniversary. Happy 10th anniversary, yes. Happy 10th anniversary. Happy 10th anniversary, yes, program. Happy 10th anniversary, yes. Bravo, peace builders, change makers, leaders.